Good evening, welcome. Good evening. Council, my name is Aaron Weaver, a soon to be advocate for the city for three years. Mr. Charlie Hill stood up in front of us last council legislative session. He said to us, black people live sicker and die younger than any other racial group in the United States. He said that twice. Then his thing was pancreatic cancer. One of my key things are social equity in cities. What do I mean by that? Planning for social equity means recognizing planning practices that have a disparate impact on certain communities and actively working with affected residents to create communities of, that they all want. I come in opposition of 750 Shell Road, which will come to, up to you all on, uh, I think, November, the November session. I spoke last week and I, I told you about the 2013, the 2013 news articles where the homeowners said, uh, were expressed concerns uh, and the different things that they uh, spurned, but they wanted to know what happened to this right here. This is a 55 page document that is a draft document that the city, that the Hampton Road Development uh, Housing Authority made that showed what are some of the things that we were looking for. We agreed wholeheartedly with this document right here. It's a very good document, it, but again, it is a draft document. So, go and behold, three years later, the article goes on to say how some within the city that we decide to go another way. We decide to go industrial which is where the problem lies. Next week I'll come and talk to you about that, but my four different articles, things that I have that are in the city code that we are not getting with this. Number one, safeguard the integrity of existing residential neighborhoods. The neighborhoods that are on that side of that property are right there. The, the, what's being used as the excuse is the Copeland Industrial Park. That's what's being used as the model. Copeland Industrial Park is uh, on the other side of the interstate and of, of, this, of train tracks. That is not safeguarding the industry. In the industry. Promote high quality design and site planning compatible with surrounding development. Again, same thing. Promote community involvement in planning, implementation, neighborhood improvement, and watch street cape beautification. This is what we ask for right here. This is what I keep coming to you all. I come to the planning division, I come to everybody. Because again, I understand the financial and the fiscal thing that this is trying to do. I understand that. But as was stated in that article, it's on a group's back. It is on the group, the people who live in that section of the neighborhood, which is predominantly black, predominantly low income. And it all comes back to exactly what Mr. Hill said. This is why I come up to you. Thank you. And I will be here next week as well. Thank you. Thank you. The next speaker is John. Good evening, welcome. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council Members. Tonight is a phenomenal night that I am here. And I will say that because I stand on the back of higher education. I am proud to say that I am a Hampton Institute graduate, Hampton University. I hold the master's and undergraduate degrees. I'm also proud to say Thomas Nelson Community College, before the name change, here stands a STEM academic advisor, former, which stands for science, technology, engineering and math. With that being said, education says it all. And not only are we going to look at higher education tonight, let us give respect to education as a whole. And it gets back to what? Opposition to Virginia State School, deaf and blind Hampton campus being industrial zoned. Industry in our community would bring what? A negative impact. We come here asking, as it should be, for compatibility in that area, something that will honor education, what that school stood for, and that here we stand tonight. I'm here also to say that integrity and truthfulness, I hope the city council will use that 
and the redevelopment when a decision is made regarding our pride, Virginia State School for the Deaf and Blind Campus. Let us say it is not government's place to dictate to the people their opinion of what is right or needed by a particular people or group. We are here for social equality, the same opportunities and outcomes. I ask everyone sitting on the council, would you want industry put in your neighborhood? Hmm, let's think about that. Moving along, people are competent to decide and deliver their own collective decisions and choices. This young man, Aaron Weaver, and our advocacy group has presented to you all so eloquently. We have been stonewalled, we have been ignored, and let's not forget the dog and pony shows with North Point. Plain and simple, no, we do not want it. It's no other way to say it. So I thank you for your time tonight. And let's just keep in mind, education first. Thank you.